crunch of the X factor for public health, the World Health Organization, adding a, a yet uh, to adding uh, to exist illness called Disease X to its annual list of public health concerns. That list includes Ebola, uh, Zika, and SARS. Joining us now, Dr. Mikhail Barshavsky, otherwise known as Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, uh, good to see you. Good to see you. What could cause this kind of epidemic? Well, the interesting part is that they're listing a disease that we don't yet know what the title of the disease is. We don't even know what the disease could be. But it's important that we stay proactive and prepared for a situation like this. We're living in closer proximity than we ever have before. We're living not only in closer proximity to one another, but also to livestock. And livestock's living in closer proximity. And that sets the stage for a very serious illness that could occur, whether it's viral, bacterial. We don't know what that is, but we need to have a fire drill of sorts. This is not fear mongering. This is preparation. Very smart by the WHO. Is over prescription of antibiotics part of the problem here? Yes. So resistance to uh, bacterial infections from over prescription is one of the things that they did mention in this article. Bioterrorism is even one of the things that they're considering and that's frankly what scares me because you don't know who's responsible when we do have a bioterrorism attack when you have a, a missile launch on another country it's very clear where the missile came from when you have a bioterrorism attack we don't know where it came from we might not have the cure for that medication right away and it can cause serious serious debilitation to a country mm -hmm. So are we through the flu season? The flu season is definitely on the decline, which is very positive because we have just about 100 pediatric deaths, and that's very scary for yes. our country. <laughs> Thankfully, the flu is finally on the decline. When, when do we get a serum that is in front of the flu versus always chasing it? You know, because viruses um, basically are able to adapt to whatever we come up from a preventive aspect, it's very difficult to not only predict what the virus will look like and how to battle it. Hmm. Because viruses are smart. They hijack our own machinery to replicate itself. Viruses can't sustain life on their own. They need our own machinery, wow. and it's hard huh. to predict how they'll adapt to Interesting that. Interesting stuff. Good Dr. Time. Mike, thank you. Thank you so we'll much. be right back.